Now, how close am I to getting into a uh, to unlocking the gambling and, and the city specializations? Let's take a look. Twenty-one commercial buildings, only fourteen so far. Okay, well, I think it's time to put down some of the high wealth housing now and to start upgrading these roads. Let's just move over here and to the roads. Get the upgrade tool and get these up and running. Now you guys might have noticed that these episodes are getting shorter and uh, and that's true because I thought to myself, well I could record SimCity on like massive blocks of 30 minutes and let you just, you know, sit there and watch me for 30 minutes. But the truth is I'm sure you guys also have other people you want to see. Like you might want to check out Sips' City as well and, uh, and other things. So what I've done is I'm making these episodes a little bit shorter, like about 12 to 15 minutes. That way you can have a quick look, have a snap, snap, a snap, at see, see what I'm doing, see how it's going. And it will be quite regular. So then you can just, you know, watch that and then you'll have time to also watch other things. So it doesn't take up too much of your day. Okay, so let's plonk down some more roads over here. Now again, I use low-density dirt roads to get the framework down because you can then upgrade those so you don't waste too much money if you get them in the wrong place. Now this is supposed to be a curved road. Why isn't it letting me curve that? Oh, I don't know. Let's try it over here. Oh no, it lets me curve this side. Okay, great. That looks good. And I will curve this way as well. Oh man, that's one of the things I love about the new SimCity is the curve system, the guide system. It lets you kind of plan out where you're going to put your roads. Okay, sweet. Now, to get high value housing, you need to put down a lot of, a lot of parks that make an area high value, make it make it good a good area to live. So let's see, let's see at the plazas. And, and those are kind of indicated by, you see these, these dollar signs? These simoleon signs, two means medium wealth, one means low wealth, and three means high wealth. So what we can do is we can put down some of these walkways. A double walkway, maybe. Um, let's just try and get as much in this as possible. Like that. And we'll put one opposite over this side. Like this. Is this going to work? Oh, yeah, perfect. And now what I'll also do is I'll put one over this side as well. And this will be a nice high wealth, high value housing area. There we go. Oh, yeah. Lots of nice areas for these guys to live. Okay, so let's put down some more zoning. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam. Okay, sweet. Now, I can do the same thing over here, but I'm going to wait until these houses go down to make sure I'm getting back up into the plus figures money-wise. But so far, everything's going great. How many commercial buildings do we have, do you think? I'm not quite sure. What I might do is I might erase some of this to make it commercial. Let's take another look at land values. Okay, so I could put some commercial down here at the side. I think I might do that, actually. So let's go to zoning. And turn some of this into commercial. Blam. And also I'll put some commercial up here as well. Right about, I reckon, one, two, no, wait, oh, not quite here. Well, no, no, here, here works. That's good for me, I think. Right, cool, awesome. Now, I might put down some more parks as well. Now, oh, money's tight at the moment. Plus four dollars an hour. It's pretty close. Is there anything to bulldoze? No, not yet. Now, I'm a bit worried, actually, because I'm, I'm not making much money per hour, and I haven't even thought about services like fire, police, and health. So I need to make sure I'm in the plus when I start putting those down. But luckily, nobody's built a Vu Tower near me to kind of totally sabotage my city. So I think I'm looking in, uh, looking to be in, in a pretty good situation. And I'm going to speed up time, I think, to get these buildings built. So bam, cheetah speed. And oh yeah, you can see them going straight up. And my money is going right up as well. Oh yeah, petition to build the academy approved. Sweet. So what is an academy? And how do I build it? Let's turn the, the speed down again. Academy, where is the academy? Is that education? It must be. So let's go and check that out. Education. No, there's no academies here. There's a library. Schools bring opportunity and advancement. They create clean high-tech factories at a cost. 
Okay, so, so where is an academy? Must be in specializations. Oh, here it is, the academy. Right. What is this? Research advanced technology and transmit the control net needed for it to function. Staff with wealthy workers to research faster and transmit more control net. Uh, okay. Not quite sure what it means. Oh, but control net is a weird kind of resource for cities in the, in the future. It's a, it's a bit of a weird one. But I think I might I might go for this. I might plonk this down if I can afford it. I can't quite yet. But, oh man, yeah, look at my money per hour. 2,000 per hour. And that's just from these high-tech houses going in. These high-wealth, high-value houses that have gone in. That's amazing. Okay, great. Now, what I can probably do is fit some parks in the middle there, in between the houses. So I've kind of planned incorrectly there, I think, slightly. But it's okay, I think. For the time being, I'll just basically upgrade this area, too, to have another... Oh, what's this? Oh, we've got a problem at the town hall. Mayor, we have reports of some crazy guy that calls himself Dr. Vu, threatening the region. There's only one way to defeat him. Max this man. We have to bring him back. We need a bit bigger of a town to give him a proper home. Maybe then he will come to save the day. No, thank you. Oh, my God. Max's man is a total jerk, and he is not coming to our city. He's just a big waste of space. He's like the worst superhero. He drives around in a car. He wears a suit. Doesn't even have anything special about him. He's just a, a big jerk, really. Okay, I'm going to upgrade these avenues so that these people can have a bit, bit, more, a bit more fun here. And basically, you need to upgrade a road to make sure the houses on it can upgrade themselves. So, if I could upgrade. Upgrade this to a low-density street. And what that means is the um, the houses here can upgrade eventually into higher density housing. But what I'll do is I'll upgrade them even further. Oh man, this is expensive. But I think this is also important that I upgrade over here as well, so that our low wealth zones can upgrade their density too. Now this is costing a lot in simoleons, but I'm making 2,000 per hour, so that's pretty cool. Right, now we're on top of everything. Nobody's upset about anything, it doesn't look like. So I might be able to afford an academy soon if I take out a loan. But I'm not sure I should do that yet. Instead, what I'll do is I'll put down some more parks and add some, I think, residential zones here next to the town hall. Okay, let's do it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bridge the gap here between, oh, between these two zones. Like, oh, no, careful. That'll blow up that house. Don't want to do that. Why is it curving so much? Don't want to do that. Okay, I'll just go to straight roads, I think. There we go. That works for me. Oh, there we go. And now what I can do is I can put some parks down here in the middle and on the sides to bring up the land value in this zone. Okay, so let's select some parks, some plazas. Now, these 120 per hour plazas seem to be the best bang for your buck. They're long and quite tricky to place sometimes, but... They do have a large area of effect. So I'm just going to plonk one. Oh, where do you reckon, guys? I reckon maybe... Oh. Maybe there, I reckon. And probably right about the middle in, over here as well. Like there. Bam. All right, now I'll put down some housing. And as you can see, these buildings, these commercial buildings, are also upgrading to high-value commercial, which is a big thing. Okay, so I'll put down some more... Residential. Now, what's this guy saying about commercial? Unemployment. Okay, well, if I put down more commercial here, that might encourage more zones where people can work. Okay, cool. Now, I do need more industry in this town. So what I think I might do is have a bit of industry over here, near to these houses. How are these guys holding on over here? Put down some shops here, I think. Maybe some commercial buildings can spawn up there, up here, up this end. Maybe I don't see any yet, but, you know, they might rise up soon. Okay, not, not anytime soon, it doesn't look like, but okay, no worries. Okay, right, so let's zoom out and see what we're looking at with our city. It's looking pretty good so far. It's got this kind of curved approach, which isn't straight, it's not grids. It's more like a wedge, which I like. And it's still quite efficient. You can see the sunset strip down here along the bottom, which is going to be pretty cool. It's going to serve as well, I think. So let's see, let's just zoom back in and think about what we're doing now. Now, I can't really afford much else. I'm making 3,000 per hour, though, which means when I do get cash, I can seriously start spending and splurging on some proper services. So what I think I might do is put down this academy thing. Sounds pretty cool, so I want it. 
But before I do that, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade these roads again. Just because I don't want my city stifled by having um, low-density streets. Okay, so let's see. Upgrade this to medium density. Oh, no, it's already at medium density. It's just... It, so, so the houses here will kind of go up to medium density of their own accord. I'll do the same, though, with these roads by the industry, because that will also let the industry upgrade. There we go. But man, yeah, one of the most annoying things in this game is upgrading the roads. Luckily, it's actually quite easy with this tool, but it takes ages and it's difficult sometimes to see which roads are high density and which roads are low density and which ones you still have to upgrade. Okay, there we go. I've got this one. I've got that one. I've got this one. Nope. There we go. This one. There we go. Almost there, I think. And bam. Yeah, everything's medium density so far. Okay, that's great. That's exactly where we want it to be. So now let's come over and upgrade some of these roads to low density. And then up to medium density too. So that these houses can get even bigger. Now we'll just up to cheetah speed so I can actually see some of this cash per hour that I'm making. Now what's our population? We have 2,100 souls. So what do we need for the town hall to upgrade? Let's take a look. Can I click on it? Will that do anything? What does it say here? If you give us 2,500 residents, we'll be able to incorporate ourselves as a small city. We could get a full city hall. Let's go for it. Okay, okay. That's a good idea, man. That's a good idea. Okay, so I need some more people in my city. What's this guy saying down here? Oh, he wants an academy, doesn't he? Hey, man. Mayor Jin. We stand at the threshold of a new digital frontier. Consider this offer, Mayor. Open your mind to a future with the Academy. Man, it sounds like a really bad reality TV show. The Academy will task workers with researching technological advancements. Your future begins today. Okay, I'm definitely going to put down the, the Academy then because people are loving it. People really want this in, in, in play. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to put down an Academy so these guys can, you know, start, well, academizing. What's this? Injured Sims! Oh, no! Right, before we do that, we need to put down a clinic, I think. What's this guy saying? We seem to have caught a cold. Oh, no. Okay, let's get the ambulance to him. Pronto. We can't have a guy with a cold. That's just a nightmare, right? So, bam, that looks like a good location for a, for a, for a clinic, I reckon. And now we'll edit it to, to have... Let's see. Oh, no, these are quite expensive. $200, $300 per hour. So I'll just leave that for the moment because I think that should be enough. But maybe another maybe another ambulance bay. I don't know. No, I can't afford anything yet. So I'm just going to leave it at that. But we've got a medical bay now. And as you can see... Oh, what's going on here? Closed for the day. Okay, no worries. As you can see, these people are getting injured and the ambulances can go out and pick these guys up. No worries. It's okay, guys. You're safe with me. 